All right, well, so where do I even begin? This is the state of power, which after you go through the prep phase, you basically go into complete battle phase mode, and that was absolutely crazy, you know, because at this point, you know, I've got fairly decent gear, as you can see, and I'm not doing okay against a lot of these players. We got paired up with the state 458. We're in state 467. You know, and it, we're doing rallies, and rallies are doing okay, right? You know, at this point, everybody's pretty much, yeah, set, Jesse, did everything we could possibly do. You know, and it's just, it's, it's a back and forth. And obviously, after a certain point, you go, you know, I'm going to start selling people. Now, the the strongest player they had was, you know, this guy, and he, he, he hit me twice. <laughs> You know, two solos, and I'm like, okay, that's that's a lot, you know. But I I can keep I can keep rolling, so let's just keep fighting, right? Yeah, it was kind of unfortunate because at this point, you know, I hit a couple of their cities, which prompted them to come back to our hive, and then proceed to try and hit a bunch of our smalls. So the main thing I did was just go ahead and reinforce all the you know, and it's like they're you know you can see they're losing a lot of troops every time they're sending those solos. So by reinforcing people left and right, you know, you basically can block them and do the damage you need to do. You know, obviously some of these guys would, you know, send marches, and I, I have enough speeds that I can just speed march, and so they wouldn't even know, um, you know, even after their scouts and such. And so it, it was a lot of back and forth, you know, and so it's, it's unfortunate that, it kind of turned out the way it did, you know, because a lot of these guys, they they probably burned a little over, like, 50 million, right? Or so. I started out with, like, 170 mil, all right? And by the end of this video, I, I, I actually left with 70 mil. <laughs> so, I can actually uh, positively tell you, so, like, just like on that report, I, uh, I did have 170 mil. It didn't take very long to get down to 70 mil. You know, so burning a hundred mil was not 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 difficult. You you can burn a hundred mil pretty darn easy in the state of power, you know, and so obviously uh I wasn't gonna take, you know, th these hits that they were doing at, at our base lightly, so I thought, you know what? Let's let's take the fight back to them. So, you know, a couple of rallies would go in back and forth, you know, I took a rally, you know, and other people took a rally and they they'd come back and forth. You know, and I'm not quite rank one yet, so I'm like, you know, they come by, hit our base, you know, our, our hive, and think that that's not going to somehow result in me going over and hitting their hive for the same reason they hit ours. You know, I, I was kind of surprised at our state, you know, and the fact that Core was doing a lot of fighting in the beginning, you know, and I wasn't there initially. You know, but... Most of the initial fighting, you know, it was it was mostly on them. But once it actually came, when the cards finally settled, our state was kind of in disarray. And I felt like at some point, I don't know how, but I guess because we started hitting cities, suddenly it was it was totally okay for the state to do absolutely nothing while we were getting pummeled. Which, that was a little triggering, but, you know, it, it is what it is. It's like, okay, fine. You know, I, I get it. You don't you don't want to fight them. You don't want to fight. Fine. You know, while their state and their all their members come over and dogpile on us, I'm like, all right, fine. I will do what I can to do my contribution to the war effort here, just to ensure that we have a chance. You know, and obviously at this point, you know, I I knew I knew it just from the beginning. I, I knew we weren't gonna win the state versus state on the castle. I just knew. You know, there's a gut feeling by when you were looking at who you got paired up with and you have a bunch of people at 160 mil plus, it's like, okay, you already know you're in a spender's paradise. You already know the people that you're up against are more than likely spending more than you. So what can you do to compensate for that? Well, I was like, well, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and trash all of their members, you know, because they can buy, buy and dogpile on us. I'm just going to trash every single account I can, every alliance that I can go after. I'm going to go buy, and I'm going to I'm gonna basically sideswipe as many people as I can. Now, obviously, the ones that say attack target are the ones that you're going to get points for. Now, I've always told you, don't send solos, but if you're going to, use the ones that give you rally offense bonuses. 
Okay, you want to use your heroes that give you rally offense bonuses. You want to make sure you're swapping to gear. You know, and you just want to take advantage of all of that benefit that you can get. You know, because these are the things that ultimately are going to matter. Now, you know, for the most part, most people do not have a gear set like mine. So I can just safely, comfortably assume I can blanket sideswipe most players around my might, and they're probably going to lose. Now, I, I can't say that all the time, right? There there are plenty of players that I've, I've sideswiped, and I've lost 60,000 T10 in a single hit, and I did hardly any damage to them. So it's it's a hit or miss, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a, a real guess here if, if I'm going to be able to do any damage, but most of the time I do, you know, and it, it, it was fun, you know, like in, in every way that you expect with State of Power, you know, it's basically a whale's paradise. Now, you'll see that Buttercup here, he's like, ah, yes, you're hitting my ult. <laughs> and I don't know what happened, but about a quarter of the way into this, I started realizing Buttercup is chasing me. Every time I go by and hit somebody, Buttercup's there. <laughs> and I'm like, well, okay, uh, all right. I can do that. You know, I can manage. I can send... You know, that's why I start speeding up my marches, because I know he's speeding up his marches to try and block me and, and trap me in my solos, you know? And I'm like, nah, 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 not on my watch. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm pulling, I'm, I'm hitting, I'm pulling and hitting, and I'm just trying to make sure I don't run into him by accident, because, you know, Buttercup, at this point, mind you, he was the guy that won the prep phase, so... I know this guy's got a lot of might. I know he's got a lot of money. I know he's probably got better gear than I do, you know? Maybe by a small margin of error, I could find myself in a lot of pain, you know? So trying to avoid that while simultaneously causing havoc was kind of interesting. <laughs> um, but, you know, just like anything, you know, you're... The main thing was state of power, right? And this is really... My two cents. For those of you who have never been in it, okay, you probably should not be going around soloing players right out of the gate, you know? And I think there was kind of like this, how do you say, a written constitution that somewhere, somehow, somebody had agreed that, oh, we are not hitting each other's cities, and I'm the one who broke that rule. Naturally, that put me on the, uh, the list of people that were going to just completely eradicate. And I'm like, you know, hey, I get it, but it's state of power. And the way I see it, you're the other state. I don't have to be nice to you. Because <laughs> that is quite literally the goddamn event. Uh, that said, I just went on a rampage. Now, you know, if you're somebody that is wanting to do State of Power in the advance, the main thing you need to know is, is that State of Power is one of those events that you do not get this event right out of the gate, right? Obviously, this is about shy of like three-ish, maybe even, well, I, I can actually pull the timeline here for you while I'm sitting here talking to you, but it's basically shy of like a couple of months into the game, all right? So, like, you're not going to find yourself doing this event right away, but what I will tell you is, is that if you are a free-to-play player, if you are somebody that is wanting to play this game, and you want to be better than me, do not upgrade all your buildings, with Fire Crystal early on, wait until you get to State of Transfer. The biggest mistake I think I found myself in is the fact that I did not realize this, and that really held me back. So yeah, it's about 80 days, or about 12 weeks after a server becomes eligible for SVS matchmaking, is State versus State. So about 80 days. So roughly speaking, I'm, I'm about right. It's, it's, it's roughly almost two and a half months in. You know, but the, the main thing with State of Power, at least, is you got to have a lot of stuff saved up. Mainly charms, chief gear upgrades, your pet upgrades. You're going to need lots of speed-ups, lots of construction speed-ups, lots of research speed-ups, lots of troop training speed-ups for those events. That event prep phase is just, you know, it's it's basically in its totality is basically an event where you're, you're trying to make the most out of it, you know, and... Like here, I'm fa I'm sending fake marches because I know he's going to go ahead and speed up and march straight to it. And I'm trying to get him into thinking, because you can see him. He's coming in. <laughs> he's ready to send it. And I'm like, ah, yes, I am smarter than you. I know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm going to send a single fake solo. You know, and this guy here, he's got four billion timber in there. And I'm like, oh, baby, I wish I could have soloed this guy with no one paying attention because... That guy would have been a really fun guy to just completely wipe out clean, because he had a stupid amount of resources, but... 
needless to say, next time, state versus state, it's going to be a little different. I'm going to be looking for people like him. He's a goddamn treasure pot, you know? Like, you got people like that sitting on four billion food and timber or whatever it be, and it's like, hey, that's free freaking resources. I'm like, you know, hey, this, this is some pretty, pretty good stuff here, you know? But naturally, uh, you know, whenever you're doing state versus state, you know, the... The main thing is you need to group up with a group of people. Now, as you can tell, I, I ended up getting rank one. <laughs> that was not an easy feat. Okay? I After sitting around hitting a bunch of souls, I got 190 million points. I lost over 100 million might. Now, you might be thinking, ah, yes, and that means you're, you're 70 million might now and you're, you screwed up. No. You get 90% of your troops back after the revive as long as you've got the 50 helps and then the 10 or so... Uh, Troop bonuses. You know, man, needless to say, you get 90% of it back. So if you lost a million, you get 900,000 back. It's really not that bad, you know, and, and in essence, and it's not really, not, not as surprising as I thought it was going to be, you know, like, it's one of those things that the costs associated to it, by the way, and this is something I didn't realize going into it, but you can only go to FC3, you also can only go to Mythic uh, T3, uh, three star. Or no, T2, three-star. My bad. Those are like the caps, at least at, at this point, prior to going up in the stages for state versus state. I didn't know this. So this this actually kind of caught me off guard, because I was expecting to be able to upgrade through Fire Crystal all my buildings past FC3, and I couldn't. So just know that if you do run into players like that, that that's, that is the limitation. Now, there is some gym costs there. You can see that you have to spend in order to revive your troops. But that's why a lot of people don't fret over going around and sending rallies and so on and so forth. It's because you can get a lot of your troops back after the event is ended. So it's not like a complete, total, utter loss of everything you've ever owned. You know, it's not really that bad. Now, obviously, you only have so many revived homes. That is one of the noticeable problems that I've seen. I was like, well, I'm going to try and divvy up as many of these tomes to as many people as I can. But, you know, and obviously, there's only going to be so many tomes, and uh, however many people are going to revive. You know, I guess there could be a, a situation in which you might not have enough tomes, but I don't know how that happened. I, I would assume that everybody didn't just up and quit after state versus state, you know, and I have a feeling this does happen, right? But anyway, the, the main thing is. That was pretty much my experience with State of Fire. It's a totally enjoyable event. It's it's almost comparable to uh, a lot of KVKs that I've had in different games, but it is definitely unique and different from a lot of the other ones. And the fact that you can, you know, basically at any point you want to hide your troops, you throw them into banners and headquarters, or you just shield. And then if you shield, you don't want to attack because you'll pop your shield and then you can't get out of your shield for 30 minutes, or rather you can't put it back on. And that was pretty much State of Power. So thank you guys for watching, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like Whiteout Survival. And I'll see you guys next time.